So it has been a week already since there has been a lot of exchange and tweets about this topic where ethnic Koreans and Filipinos have been exchanging discriminatory insults over social media. And of course, with Filipino sides sharing posts with hashtags like hashtag cancel Korea, hashtag cancel toxic Koreans, and hashtag apologize to Filipinos. So, paano ba nagsimula to? I don't know, actually, kung paano siya nagsimula. So, I did my research and I found out that it's because of Bella Porch. So, she's a Filipino-American TikTok personality in Hawaii. And apparently, she was just dancing on TikTok. I think wala naman siyang um, anything na masamang gustong sabihin o gustong gawin. But because of the tattoo on her arm, um, Koreans were quick to um, rant about that design and comment about that design. So, also, that red sun design, wala rin akong alam dyan, actually. Um, I just made a research about that and um, I read some articles about it. So, apparently, that red rising flag the one with the sunburst symbol with 16 rays is regarded as offensive by some especially by the koreans and chinese that is because of japanese imperialism and war crimes so they said since they were colonized by japanese for quite a time they found it to be very offensive And this design is actually associated with Japanese imperialism and war crimes in the early 20th century, similar to the Nazi swastika. So many Koreans feel offended by this, especially the use of the red rising flag as a design for a tattoo knowing that Korea was colonized by Japanese for a time. And you will see that people abhor Nazi Germany for the cruelty that they did in the past. And Japanese were also known for some cruelty that they have done in the past, especially for Koreans whom they colonized for a time. So that is why many Koreans reacted to Bella Porch when they saw her tattoo with the design of the red rising flag. Later on, Bella posted an apology in TikTok and Twitter account saying this, I apologize to Koreans because six months ago, I got a tattoo of the red sun with 16 rays. At that time, I didn't know the history, but when I found out, I immediately had it covered and scheduled for removal. I am ashamed of myself for not doing my research. I sincerely apologize. And I stand this woman for quickly taking accountability of her actions and apologizing immediately for her actions as well. You might have expected that after Bella's apology, things will stop. But it did not. The issue did not stop. And you will see some Koreans posted this post, which made Filipinos really angry. And these posts really made me sad because they have attacked not just one person, but the whole Filipinos and everyone in the country. And it's so sad to see that there are more comments like this in Twitter and in the social media. Which I understand the reason why Filipinos are ranting about this and making the hashtag cancel Korea as top trending topics in Twitter. 
And as a Filipino, reading those rude comments about your country and about the Filipinos in general will really make you so angry. And so Filipinos were quick to reply and post their comments like this. About this cancel career for a few days now and I really stopped myself from checking the social media because... I love Korea, I love Korean dramas and also K-pop. But when I saw this post of a man or of a young person destroying the Philippine flag, it just made my heart really, really angry. And in my shock, I also saw this post. I'm not sure if a Filipino is the one who posted this, but you will notice that in the post, he is also discriminating Filipinos. That they act one thing or they say one thing and do another thing, which is also really bad. That kind of integrity amongst us is now being challenged by this kind of post. And you will understand Bella Porch when she posted this tweet in her Twitter account. Because of all of the comments that Filipinos all over the world are receiving. All of the rants, all of the hate that Filipinos are receiving because of this issue. But it was not all negative. Notice how people... Koreans and Filipinos started to um, post or tweet apologies and at the same time funny comments about this issue. Maybe para hindi naman masyadong stressful and mabigat sa pakiramdam yung mga nangyayari. Notice how this Korean apologized on behalf of Koreans for what happened, for all of the racist remarks and hate comments that we have received and of course syempre hindi mawawala yung mga funny comments about this where we just look at the bright side of things so what can we learn from this guys just a disclaimer the things that i'm going to share with you are all my opinion so i hope that you will not bash me for this so i'm just what i'm just saying is that maybe we need to see and think what this issue is trying to teach us. So here it is. Number one, do not generalize people. Remember, it was only Bella who made a mistake. Or I don't know if you can call that a mistake. But... I think people overreacted. Pero syempre, hindi ko rin naman sila masisisi because that design is really give bad memories no, sa kanila. But what I'm saying is that only one person made a mistake but we drag all Filipinos in this issue and we tell them negative comments. Number two, be quick to apologize and be accountable. Admire Bella for saying sorry immediately and owning her mistake. And she took responsibility of it by posting in her Twitter account saying that we should not attack Filipinos. And I understand her. That is being accountable and not putting blame or pointing fingers on others because she knows that siya yung nagkamali and she immediately said sorry about it. Number three, don't do something when you are at the height of your emotion or when you are angry or when you don't know anything about the issue. Yun kasi yung problema. Especially that person who tore the flag of the Philippines into pieces why will you do that? alam mo ba talaga yung ginagawa mo? and do you know the repercussions of your actions? so 
I hope that we will not go with the flow. Instead, we need to counterattack the flow so that we will prevent more people getting hurt and also hurting others as well. Number 4, let us not forget about the good things done by each other. Ang mahirap kasi, minsan na overlook natin yung good because of the mistake done by others. Imagine Filipinos taught Koreans how to speak English. I know because I was once a teacher of Koreans. And also Filipinos, let us not forget how K-pop and Korean dramas has helped us cope with our boredom and anxiety, especially during the pandemic. Let us not overlook on the good things just because mayroong pagkakamaling nangyari. I want to encourage everybody to be kind and be compassionate. Choose kindness and think before you speak or think before you do something. You have to ask yourself, are your words true? Is it helpful? Will it inspire others? Itong ginagawa ko, necessary ba to? Am I being kind? Am I showing kindness with what I'm doing? So, sana maisip natin yung mga gagawin natin. Mga sasabihin natin. So, that's it guys. I just wanted to really share with you what I feel and what I learn about this issue. And I hope that you learned a lot from this video. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much and stay safe everyone.